Hey guys, Dylan from Fishing Pools. Going to show you how to throw a cast net. We're up here at the Skyway today, stocking up on some bait for some future offshore trips. We've got a uh, 12 foot, 3 8 inch mesh size cast net. Um, typically in deep water, we like to use a half inch or a three quarter inch, but the bait's been so thick up here, I really don't want a net that's gonna sink down that fast. We're gonna have a hell of a time trying to pull it back up if we do, with how much bait's gonna be in it. So I like the three eighths for this scenario. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to throw a cast net. Don't have to put any, any of the weights in my mouth or anything, it's a pretty easy method. Um, so first things first is your hand line here. Um, I like to start mine on my left hand, get that around your wrist, and then I like to just make nice, even two foot curls, coils on this hand line. This is very important. You don't want this getting all you know tangled up as you're throwing the net. It's gonna pull that net back and close it prematurely before it hits the water. So like I said, I like to have nice, even coils like that all on my left hand here. Next, I'm gonna come down to the horn. This cast net's a little messed up. I actually, my horn doesn't have the plastic anymore. It's kind of held together with zip ties. But, um, so really you wanna pull that up over your braille lines here. Your braille lines are what connect to the lead line. You wanna pull this up to where you're, you're about up to, the, to your loop here. Then I'm gonna come down get that in my left hand that's gonna be my first grab of the net then I'm gonna come down about six feet that's gonna be my second grab this is all got getting loaded up in my left hand the hand line and the net next I'm gonna come down I'm gonna hold it off to my side like this I got this in my left hand I'm gonna come with my right hand and I'm gonna go about a little bit a little bit below waist high and that's going to be my third gather. That's all going to my left hand. So everything of the net, those three gathers of the net, the hand line, everything's in my left hand there. Next, I'm going to come down with my right hand, grab the lead line like this. Just going to lay it over my left arm. It should look something like that. You're going to have two piles. You're going to have one further back. And you're going to have this forward one. This is the one you're going to grab to start dividing the net up. All I'm going to do, throw that over my shoulder. All I'm doing right now is splitting the net into two piles. So I'm just going to run my hand along the inside of here and throw this net up. This is also a good time if you got little tangles to, to get those out. Keep running it. I like to stop when I get about halfway. If you can see that, that lead line, that pile there is about half of what I got over my shoulder. Next step, this is where it starts to get a little tricky in my method. Here. I'll put my knee up like this. You got that line that you've been throwing over your shoulder. You're gonna just set that on your leg. And then I just kind of roll my shoulder and drop that pile off. Next step, you're gonna take your pinky and take your pinky and grab this lead line. Just like that, I'm gonna come with my other three fingers here and just pinch this whole pile that I just laid out on my arm. So I've got that pinched, I've got my pinky. That's gonna be the last thing you're gonna, you're gonna release as you let this net go in your throw. That's the last thing you're gonna hold on to. That's kind of what's, you know, spread as you're throwing the net out, that's kind of what pulls it back and lets you get that last bit of opening. So now we've got our two piles, we're loaded, we're ready to throw it. I have to do a little spin on a 12 foot net like this. It's extremely heavy. Um, on a smaller net, you can kind of just turn and let it go. But with this 12 footer, I like to get a little little twirl going so I can get it opened up coming up as you can see out here we got a ton of bait not gonna need to chum we actually might be in danger of getting too much bait in the net I've had it happen before where you get a hundred pounds of bait and try to pull it up over here the pier um, 
pretty difficult. So kind of hoping I don't, at this point with how much bait there is, we're not gonna wanna let it sink all the way down because then we run the risk of not being able to pull the net back up. Um, all right, give it a whirl. Good. 